Three years ago, the United Nations had declared October 11 as an International Day of the Girl Child, following continued calls by several member states, non-governmental organizations, and girls themselves, that girls face a double discrimination due to their gender and age, and are the most marginalized and discriminated group across the globe. Children's rights are often violated because they are young. Young girls are further violated because they are girls. And uh, to discuss this, uh, we have invited into the studio Tino Tenda Hondo, who is uh, the Gender Advisor for Plan International Zimbabwe. Good morning and well, welcome to Weekend Morning. Good morning, Alice. Good morning, Zimbabwe. Right, we have celebrated the International Day for about uh, three years. Can you just remind us again what this day is all about and what this year's uh, theme is? Okay. Um, this day was designated by the United Nations as a day when all member states momentarily put the limelight on girls and uh, take a look at the gender inequalities that still exist between girls and boys. Right. So how is uh, Zimbabwe going to celebrate this day? Today, there will be various celebrations uh, around the provinces. There's a lot of organizations who are doing different things in different places. But the main event will be on Wednesday. Right. And what challenges are facing the girl child today? The challenges that face girls are numerous, but mainly we have um, a lot of issues around sexual violence. We keep hearing that incidences of rape are going up. There's a lot of um, problems involving child marriage. Our girls are marrying too early. A lot of them are dropping out of school, mainly because when resources are few, families prefer to educate boys. It's, it's in them that families put their heart. And we know that girl empowerment uh, you know, has been a topical issue for many years, but has there been a change in the girls' lives? First, I'd say we need to commend the efforts that government and its partners are putting in. There is increased access to education, increased access to work opportunities, and even an increased presence of women in politics. But the attitudes, the behaviors, the stereotypes that drive the challenges that girls face are still very much there. In private spaces, very little is, is changing. Right, so what do you think should be done to address all these issues and the challenges that girls are facing? I think there's, there's no two ways about it. Society needs to change. We need to, each of us individually, address the, challenge, the, the attitudes that we have about girls, the value that we, we place on girls, and the things that we do which violate girls' rights. Right, and we also understand that the country will also launched the Girl Empowerment uh, Frameworks as part of the celebration. Why is the Girls Empowerment uh, Framework so critical? For a long time, laws and policy and uh, government action around children and women's issues has been very silent on, on girls in particular. They are children, yes, but they are females also, and they have a lot of challenges that they face which um, sit on the fence, and that hasn't been addressed for a long time. So now Minister of Women's Affairs has developed this framework that is being launched on Wednesday to, to sort of detail what it is that they're going to do to address those issues which have been silent for so long. Right, so who is invited to these commemorations? Um, girls themselves, mm -hmm. definitely. Uh, a lot of NGOs will be represented there in government departments and I'd say the, the nation at large. Right, and what would you like to say to the viewers out there pertaining to this particular day? Okay, I, I'd like to say all children are important. And we need today to ask ourselves, are we doing our very best to build a good foundation for our girls? There isn't some other person that's going to come and uh, bring this change. Each and every one of us has to change the way we live and the way we treat girls and boys so that it's equal and we are giving them the opportunity to have the same kind of future. And lastly, as Plan International Zimbabwe, what improvements, what changes would you like to see pertaining to the girl child? For Plan International, I would like to see would like to see more funding for girls' education, not only from government but from families themselves. The way families prioritize resources among their children is a factor that really needs to change. We would also like to see improved functioning of child protection systems to ensure that girls first don't face the violations that they face and that when they do face them, we respond better to help them. Well, thank you so much for coming through to Weekend Morning. And there I was uh, talking to Tino Tendaondo, who is uh, the Gender Advisor for Plan International Zimbabwe. And she was here to tell us about the International Day of the Girl Child, which is going to be commemorated today. And that concludes uh, the main news. Up next.